Hello everyone, this is, um, you know, Equinra, or also known as Burring, well, used to be known as. I'm going to be doing a cell shading tutorial for this one, for this video. Um, yeah, so it's very simple. It, what I use is paint to side is just because it's, I know things a little bit better on here than like Photoshop or Express. Um, and same with GIMP. Uh, GIMP I have always had an issue with, so yeah, um, here we have a old drawing I did of, uh, for New Year's, 2014. Um, okay, uh, see here, this is where my whole color is. It's always on the below, and then my line art. Then I'll be going to a new layer. If I go here, if I go to this uh, base layer, preserve opacity, it does this. Oh, nope, nope, sorry. This is what happens. See, you don't color outside the lines. And as well, and if you take the lock off, the preserve opacity, it you pretty much color outside the lines. So you want to always preserve opacity. If I'm saying that wrong, sorry. Um, next you're going to make a new layer, clipping group, because if you just do another layer, it does the same thing. But if you do clipping group, it keeps the lines in place. So clipping group. What I'm going to do is a simple lighting from this direction. So from the top down. Next I will be do taking a bluey color because it's a little bit more of a natural color than normal. And you go to mode because see if I go here it's gray. But if I go to multiply, it darkens. So I'm going to keep that on multiply. And just simply go in and fill in where I need color. Like for example, nostrils, because it is way deeper. So you're just going to go in here and just fill in where you need color, shading, just very basic areas, like there's just very basic. Also don't forget to fill in the ears, because that is a very darker shade. Next place, since the light is coming this way, there's going to be a little crevice here of where there is color. Yes, this is a little bit messy, but it's just a tutorial. And see, with the clipping group, you can go outside the lines. And since if I take the clipping group away, you can still see. Fill that in. Clipping group. Ta-da. Done. We're just going to fill in here because there should be shadow here. And again, muscle here. You can also go back with the eraser and just clean up that line like I just did it, it's a little bit messy. If you zoom out, it's a little bit neater. 
And to get a little bit more depth in the picture, is you do the same thing. You make another layer, clipping group, and I'm still going to be using the same color with mul using multiply. And to get that deeper color, it's always going to keep getting darker and darker every time you put a col same color down. See? Ta-da, simple, easy. And another way you can do it is, let's say, let's open up some a picture of some stock here. See, like, here's some shadows. Just mainly just keep looking at um, references, and you can get a whole bunch of um, idea of where shadows should be. Like, see here, there's some sh a little bit of darker shadow here, more shadow along the side of the face because the light it's shining this way. Um, and yeah. So I'm just gonna uh, speed up the video here right now and uh, I'll see you when I come back. And okay, I finished the leg, just very simple. Um. Now for the bottom leg, take, what I like to do is I like to get that deeper shadow in here. Because there's always going to be a deep, deep, deep shadow where it's underneath. Um, get that detail in there just a little bit. Not too much, depending on what you want to do. Then I'll go on to this layer again, the deeper shadow, and do the same thing. Fill in here, bucket, and there. Simple, easy, not hard. And with the belly, you practically do the same thing. It's all the same thing, just repeat 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 and more repeating of the same process sped up video in three two sorry about that it just legs the rest of the video sorry Okay, and there you go, there's just basic. Um, yeah, and then what I do for the bottom shadow is to get that lighting down here. So what I like to do, it's quick and easy, is select the whole image. Copy, since you're doing, nope, not cut. Copy. And then I'm going to do the same thing, except put it about here. Paste that down. Take that away transform this or deform whichever one works and just simply do that and just fit it to however you need it to be press ok preserve opacity I'm gonna use the same colors I did with all the other ones fill it in and then multiply and there you go it's simple as that. So yeah, see you guys in my next tutorial when I make one.